Moving on to the next question that is question number 10. If both roots of the quadratic x square minus mx plus 4 equals 0 are real and distinct and they lie in the interval 1 to 5 it is closed then m lies in the interval. See when you look at the equation x square minus mx plus 4 you cannot convert it directly in some perfect square and some easy format you have to go with the proper process for this kind of question. So, let us start this question here both roots are distinct and real. So, first requirement is d is greater than 0. When you solve d greater than 0, you get m square minus 16 is greater than 0 or m belongs to minus infinity to minus 4 union 4 to infinity as the first result. Correct? Next, both roots are lying in the interval 1 to 5. So, let us do one thing, draw the system and draw here one parabola like this, correct. Now, question says both roots are lying in the interval 1 to 5, let us consider 1 is here and 5 is here, correct. So, question says this is 1, this is 5, this is obviously origin x axis and y axis also mentioned, correct. Now, we can simply see here f of 1 is positive, f of 5 is positive because parabola was opening upwards. When you put here in this equation 1, you get 1 minus m plus 4 is greater than 0, meaning m is less than 5. This is result number 2, f 5 meaning 25 minus 5 m plus 4 greater than 0 giving me m is less than 29 by 5, result number 3. Next, we can see here that the vertex point, it is lying between both 1 and 5. So, x coordinate of vertex meaning minus b by 2 a, it is lying between x 1 and x 2, where I am saying this term as x 1 and this term as x 2, clear. So, let us write here 1 less than minus of minus m divided by 2 less than 5, giving me m is between 2 to 10. This is result number 4. Now, combine all 4 results that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when you look at the part 4 combined with 3, the result is 2 to 29 by 5. Moving ahead, taking with this 2, we have the result 2 to 5. Moving ahead, Combining with first, the result is simply 4 to 5. So, let us see from the given options that is 4 to 5 is the required result. Yes, it is available here as option number 3. So, let us mention as the correct answer. I am sure this question is clear, although a bit lengthy because it was involving all different types of inequalities just to satisfy the constraint roots are lying in the given interval. Let us move on to the next one. If z0 is the root of the quadratic equation x square plus x plus 1 equals 0, what are the roots of this equation? Omega and omega square, where omega is the cube root of unity. So, it is simple one. The root for this one is clearly omega or omega square. Now, if z equals 3 plus 6 iota z0 to the power 81 minus 3 iota z0 to the power 93. You can see 81, 93 both are the multiples of 3, meaning omega cube is 1. So, z0, 81, this is 1, z0, 93, this is also 1. So, let us start this question. Now, I think this is solved. This is simply 3 plus 3 iota. 3 plus 6 iota minus 3 iota. So, it is 3 plus 3 iota. What is the argument amplitude of this number? We can clearly say yes, the number for this argument is pi by 4. So, let us mark this correct answer as option number 3. I am sure this question is also clear, a simple question from complex numbers. Let us move on to the next one that is 12th question involving a matrix. It is being asked, it is invertible for what constraint? Matrix is invertible when, when you have the matrix as non-singular, meaning 
determinant is non zero so you have to talk about the determinant of this given matrix meaning if i write here the term determinant like this so i will be getting the result like this when i write the determinant here i can say et e minus t and e minus t are common from first second and third columns clear let's take these terms common and write the determinant after getting the simplified form this is e minus t multiplied with 1 1 1 cos t minus cos t minus sin t 2 into sin t then next column we have sin t minus sin t plus cos t and the last element is minus 2 cos t and just put the bar here again to complete this determinant. Now, we can apply some operations to simplify like R2 replaced with R2 minus R1 and then R3 replaced with R3 minus R1. So, that you find the zeros here just expand simplify you are getting the result simplified and expand we get determinant a equals 5 e to the power minus t which is clearly non-zero. So, whatever be the value of t this matrix is invertible as it is non-singular. So, let us mark the correct answer from the given options invertible only if no invertible for all values of t yes that is what we were looking for this question. So, second option is the correct answer for this question let us read the third fourth as well invertible only if t equals pi by 2 no not invertible no. So, the correct answer is simply option number 2 I am sure this is also clear let us move on to the next one that is question number 13.